Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Currently 8.30 a.m. and I just woke up like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> and I'm going to get coffee and breakfast. We are in the Starbucks drive-thru now. I just didn't feel like making my own coffee this morning, as usual. But I also didn't have anything to eat for breakfast because we didn't go grocery shopping this week. Like Chad went and got just like stuff to make meals, but we didn't like do an official grocery trip and it's Thursday. So because of that, I didn't have like my typical breakfast stuff. So I just figured I'll grab something from Starbucks. I think I'm just gonna get a bagel. Even though it's not a fall drink, I've been craving a caramel macchiato. I just haven't had it ever since pumpkin spice came out. I took off my dip last night. I just wanted to do a different color. I'm like obsessed. They held up so well. Well, they looked really good. I didn't bite them. So like my natural nails are like Almost a little bit past my tips, which is crazy. I could never normally do this In fact having nothing on there last night while I was like watching TV and stuff and when I woke up this morning has been like really bothering me Because they just feel like thin and brittle and I just want to like bite off like the free edge But I'm not doing it because I know once I put the dip powder on they're gonna be strong again and they're gonna look really good so I just decided to take them off. I did order a uh, nail file thing, like an electric one like they have at the nail salon, and it was a game changer. I literally took all of my dip powder off so fast because of that. So we love that, and I'm gonna do a different color today. I loved the black, but I kind of just want to switch it up because I can do my nails now, so it's awesome. Okay. 804, honey. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thursdays are my busiest day of the week, so I need extra coffee. Yeah. coffee and a bagel i am ready to take on the day i'm back home and before i do anything else i'm gonna do my nails i just actually did the um like cuticle eliminator stuff to push my cuticles back i'm not gonna show the entire process because in my last vlog i actually showed it like start to finish all the steps and everything but i'm just gonna do my nails and i got this color um bubble bath pink that i showed you guys in my last video and i'm gonna do this one the final result of my nails this looks just like opi funny bunny um you can definitely notice like the flaws more i think on like the lighter color versus when i did the black but overall they look really good and i'm saving so much money by doing them myself just finished doing my face makeup and i stayed away from my eyebrows they're still really really dark healing from the microblading um you know, technically you shouldn't wear makeup i feel like i'm precise enough to not get it near my eyebrows so it's no big deal plus i'm so pale right now that my foundation matches my skin tone like pretty dang perfect so i can get away with like going an inch or two and like maybe you can kind of tell but it's not that noticeable but i have a hair appointment today so i want to do my eyeshadow really pretty so i thought i would film that part and i'm just going to use my tartlet toasted palette this is one of my favorite palettes for like the fall time <laughs> Here's the finished eyeshadow look. Nice fall eyes. I haven't done any fall eyeshadow until now, so it's my first fall look, and I'm so happy because it matches my shirt too. 
three whole bags full of stuff that I'm gonna attempt to sell at Plato's Closet. I'm just gonna take it in, see if they take anything. A lot of this stuff is just things that don't fit me, things that I haven't worn in a long time. I'm just trying to clear out because I honestly don't have space for anything anymore. I didn't even bother doing anything with my hair because obviously I have a hair appointment, so what's the point? Whatever Plato's Closet doesn't take, I'm gonna run up to Goodwill and then I have my hair appointment at 12.30, so. All right, Plato's Closet, don't do me dirty. Okay, there was a little bit of a wait at Plato's Closet, so I just left my clothes there and Tracy texted me that she could take me earlier for my hair appointment. So I just got here. I'm about to go in and get my brand new hair extensions and I got them quite a bit longer, which I typically do when I get new extensions. I'll get them like longer and then, you know, I'll probably get sick of them and end up cutting them back to like that medium length that I'm usually at. But I really just wanted to go back long, so I'm going to try to not cut it and enjoy it because it's just like so pretty having the longer hair but at the same time it's also a lot more work but i'm excited way later now i did not vlog at the hair salon but say hello to my new fall hair i am obsessed with the way it turned out it's really really pretty and i got new longer extensions they're really long but i actually did less hair than what i had in before so it does look a little bit more natural um i do really love the color though she lightened up my hair quite a bit and we added some like face framing pieces and I'm obsessed. Let me know what you guys think. I'm back home now. I picked up the stuff from Plato's Closet and to my surprise, they actually took almost all of it. They only sent back a few things. I was still shocked by the things they sent back because I like feel like they would have done well, but it's whatever. It's all stuff that I wanted to get rid of. So I was just happy to make some money off stuff that I wanted to get rid of. I dropped everything else off at Goodwill and I'm having this chicken Caesar salad pre-made thingy for lunch really quick and I'm gonna get back to work. I wanna take some flat lay photos of some of the new arrivals, like just create like some cute outfits. I got my ring light ready and I laid this down and then I just went on my computer to look up some flat lay inspiration on Pinterest and then I turn around and Trooper has already just taken over. He always does this whenever I have any kind of a rug or anything, he just like claims it. That's not for you, that's mama's flat lay rug. And you're gonna get all your fur all over it, so you have to get up. Yes, I know that you're a sweet boy and deserve to lay on here. bubbly the best kind ever I love these I'm gonna go outside actually so I just changed into some clothes that are appropriate for the 90 degree weather that's outside <laughs> and I'm gonna try and do the flat lays out there because I just don't like the lighting sometimes I can deal with like the fake lighting but it's just not working for me right now so we're gonna take it outside see if I can get some cute flat lays out there so I'm kind of trying to like pre-plan out these outfits before I get outside when I'm like dying so I'm gonna do these jeans with this top that's actually dropping tomorrow it's so pretty and then this bag that is also coming soon I am now outside on my deck trying to set this up I decided to use this instead of the white rug thing because I just feel like it goes better with this outfit but I'm trying to figure out which shoes now because I didn't really like these ones so I'm thinking maybe these which these unfortunately aren't from Sunstyled I haven't stocked many shoes lately because it tends to not do as well as the clothes like people just aren't buying shoes I still have a ton of sandals left so I'm just kind of focusing on other things I did order bags so I do have this pair with this I don't know if it would look good I also have black boots. I think these look the best. And then I also have some new jewelry, two new bracelets, and this cute gold ring that's kind of like a dupe for the Cartier ring. Here's my final product of my flat lay. Let's take some pictures and see how it turns out. Okay, here's the next outfit that I'm styling. These aren't coming out the best. Oh my gosh, bird, please. Okay. Well, they're not coming out the best because the sun is like behind clouds. And even though I thought that would be like really good lighting in the shade, it makes this like come off blue on my phone. Now I could go get my good camera, but I like doing the flat lays with my phone because they're like super easy, ready to go. I can edit them right away. This super cute like quilted faux leather uh, belt bag is also coming Friday. And then these black skinny jeans, this is already on the site. Hey guys, it's way later now. I'm with Allison. We just took our dogs to the dog park and I didn't vlog any of it because the entire time I was trying to protect Trooper. All the dogs are like obsessed with him and they were just non-stop humping him. <laughs> 
and he couldn't get away from them so I didn't end up vlogging because every clip I would have got was basically some dog licking his weenie or humping him. <laughs> Wasn't good footage. Bad. Very bad. <laughs> but they're doing okay now. That's tighter. And Trooper is so exhausted. <laughs> We're in Allison's Jeep with the doors off and it's like no other. I love this so much. <laughs> Feels like we're in like a golf cart that goes fast. Almost 10, I am back home. I just took all my makeup off, washed my face, and threw my hair in a little ponytail, and I'm about to give Trooper a bath. But I already set our alarm system and it's dark out. I'm not gonna bother doing it outside on the deck with a hose like we normally do. But I'm gonna attempt to give him a bath in the bathtub. It's just too late to be outside and too dark and there's bugs and I don't want to bother with that but I've never given him a bath in our bathtub before but at the same time he's really dirty from the dog park and there's no way that I can let him on the couch so I'm gonna give you a pig bath and come see come here come here come look come look pig water mama will be able to give you a pig bath that will be okay in here though it's okay You were a very good boy. Now you're gonna get your treat. Good boy. He sits. Good boy. His favorite treat to bring over to his bed and enjoy. He did so good in the bath. He was definitely afraid when I like carried him into the bathtub because we always give him baths on the deck. Never given him a bath in the bathtub before. Um, but he did so good. Now he's all clean. Good morning, guys. I just woke up a little bit ago and I'm sitting on the couch with Trooper and I brushed out my hair and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have long hair, I love it. My eyebrows are still super dark and it started scabbing. They're like really dry and itchy, but I can't scratch them because you're not supposed to like scratch off the scabbing, if that makes sense. It's supposed to come off naturally, otherwise you can pull up the pigment. So just disregard my super, super dark eyebrows. They will lighten up. Um, but I'm sitting here on the couch with Trooper and we're waiting for Chad to get home. He's bringing us bagels. Trooper's just an exhausted pup from all that fun he had yesterday. Today's Friday, which means new arrivals are going live, so I do have to get through all of this inventory. Luckily, I already did my spreadsheet and everything, so I literally just have to create the listings. I already have shipping weights, prices, everything like that already done, so I'm going to work on this now. brought me a cinnamon raisin bagel so I'm gonna have this right now I asked him not to toast it because I didn't want it like right away so I still need to do the toaster but. doing my makeup now and I've been like mixing two foundations because this one which is like my super super light one I feel like makes my face look too pale even if it's a teeny bit darker than it should be and when I mix the two I would prefer that so I mix it with two and two buff so I've been mixing the two of these and I feel like it just makes my face look a bit less pale and I like that better. Okay, makeup is done and I'm just spraying some of this protection heat spray. This is the finished product. I think it turned out really good. They're just like Loose waves, I made sure I didn't hold it on there for very long and then I like ran my fingers through it at the end. I really, really like it. Okay, I'm about to start packing up orders. I just set up my little station. The first order is actually these two tops. And so I got my tissue paper, which I wanna order more tissue paper, but I wanna get it in like either white or like beige or brown, just something more neutral. And then here are my little free gifts for today. I've got like all these really cute scrunchies and then the cute little pearl clips. Of course, my big support babes keychains, which I try to throw one of these in every order. And then thank you cards. These are the pre-filled ones. I think I have another pack of the ones that are blank on the back that I can write on, but I can't find them. I think they might be out in the garage somewhere, stocked away. So I'm just gonna be using these for now.
I just got back from dropping off all the packages for the orders that came in today and then we also took a picture of my hair I just finally posted about it because I had like no time yesterday it was a very busy day and so after I got my hair done I never got to take like a picture of it so I didn't show anyone and so it was like my first picture showing me having long hair now and now we're just laying here on the couch taking a little break you love papa we love you, Papa. I'm wearing one of Chad's oversized shirts because I thought we were in for the night and we weren't doing anything else. And then his parents texted us asking if we want to go to dinner because they want to talk about wedding stuff. And Chad and I haven't really talked about it. And I know a lot of people have been asking, like, are you guys going to do, like, the engagement video? Are you guys talking about, you know, wedding plans? Do you have a date? Where are you doing it? When? You know, everyone wants to know. And, like, honestly, we, we haven't really talked about it yet. And we need to because we've already been together for seven years. Like we don't want a super long engagement, but the finance part of it stresses us both out because we're trying to save up for a bigger house and we want to put all of our extra money into our savings for that. So the idea of spending a bunch of money on a wedding right now just doesn't sound great to us. We're also both very like small knit people, like close knit people, I guess. So we don't have like a huge friend group. We don't want a very big wedding. So, so I guess it's not like all that important but i mean we definitely need to talk about it so we're going to dinner with his parents so i'm gonna end the vlog here because i gotta change out of this and go put some real clothes on and we're gonna go meet his parents for dinner and talk about wedding stuff so <laughs> stay tuned to hear how that goes and i'll update you guys of course if we conclude exactly what it is we're doing but thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video